they can keep talking. I'ma keep popping, rocking this pimp, not no robbing. Now they loving the way that I'm saucing. We superior to average, no top ten. We gon' come in and change up the topic. We playing chess, I know checkers. We moving strategic, we not moving runners. This ain't no regular. We doing numbers, I'm really ahead of ya. Ain't never heard of ya. Pull out a gang in and it's bitch, so you know we superior. Huh? Yeah, bitch to the average. I ain't doing nothing average. We get it poppin' like we get it poppin' like. Welcome back to another episode of the Piff Company Podcast. It's your boy Elijah. Josh. It's your boy Tay. And we're on episode 93 today. Yes, indeed. Back yes, with indeed. another one. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 93 bangers. Yeah. And um, we got another one, as always. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we here. Keeping we it fresh, here. keeping it funky. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good week today. Sure. You know, today's sure. the start of a good week. You know what I'm saying? Great week. Why is that? It's promotion week, how we call it. It's launch week, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know the deal, man. Another STTA new drop That's on the way. Fact. That's a fact. Uh, you probably seen some teasers on our story from the photo shoot, you know? Yep. Um, but yeah, stay tuned on the Instagram everywhere. You're going to. Yes, man. STTA everywhere, baby. Go to the website, piffcompany.com. Be the first one. You see the jack. You see the jack. I'm just saying, you know, we got that gear. We got that gear. Some of y'all been asking, man. You're going to see. We're going to reveal it this week. Um, as always, whenever we have a drop throughout the week, we're going to be introducing, you know, what's coming on the drop. Um, so yeah, tell your aunties, just like I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> it's STTA, baby, fifth company. Uh, <laughs> man, tell your aunties, man. That's hilarious. I got to keep saying that now, because it's going to be on that For show. real. <laughs> now nah, that's, that's a real thing though. Tell everybody, tell everybody, tell everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell a friend, tell a friend. Uh, how you guys doing, man? How, how's, how's, uh, how's the week been going for you guys? been good man it's been good um yeah i feel like just these weeks been going and it's just been like you know i don't know kind of fast lately i feel like we're in march almost at the end mm -hmm. it's like where was march you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like that shit flew yeah time is definitely uh, flying definitely so, i feel like the older you get the, the faster time goes you feels. just get more accustomed to time shit's wild yeah no nah, i feel that um i mean i've been kind of uh, under the weather a little bit, in and out the hospital here and there. Um, your boy's just dealing with this colitis goddamn flare up. So, yeah. been trying to get myself back into good health. But your boy is good. You know, your boy is all right. Feeling good. Feeling getting my energy back up. You know, starting to eat back again. So, feeling all right. You know what I'm saying? So, just been dealing with that nonsense all week. But other than that, I've been chilling. Right. You know, Hope feel better, my guy. Definitely yeah. uh, annoying. That's, <clears throat> yeah, that's an understatement, but <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, what's Mama going raise on? Mama raises raises survivor though. You feel me? Yeah, man. Yeah, you see me out like, here working. <laughs> you see me. Stay Say working, Mama. Don't worry. <laughs> you raised the gangster. I was, was a vibe. <laughs> Hard, though, you know what's funny about that? I swear, like during this, like I swear to God, I was actually singing that to myself. Like I swear to God, I was. I was like, Mom, no, because I was on the phone with her, right? And then like after, I'd be like in my head, just being like, Mom, no, you the case. I was a lot all over TikTok. <laughs> You seen the, uh, the they had like a fucking yeah. what's it called a trend afterwards? Yeah, yeah. yeah like they, Cause I don't know what kind of haircut <laughs> yeah, you call that. The shag, that's yeah. the super shag. I don't I know what you call. I seen some funny ones, bro. Attached it to a car, a truck. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Josh? You seen that? You ever seen those trends? No. It's that like that <clears throat> that part we just did. Um, when the guy was rapping with the mic, he, he had like some crazy hairstyle. Like it was just hair in the back. <laughs> he had like, a, he had, like a, a short haircut, and, like waves in the front. And an afro in the back, like, it just looked crazy. Like a, it was like if if I mean if anything, that'd be like the only like a black mullet. I was thinking but the same like shit, right? the worst way, like it was you know. Up. But um, and so since then, people were doing a trend on TikTok, and they were like tied, like they had one had like a whole another person, like a kid behind them, like mm -hmm. just tied different shit behind their head and do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if we can pull up a clip or some shit, yeah. you know. But that shit was funny. <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. How you been though, Josh? What's going on with you? How you been this week? Same old bullshit, you know. Just a different day. Damn, damn. Okay. Chilling, bullshit. Chilling. Yeah, man. I'm gonna deal with a lot of bullshit. You know? <laughs> yeah, what kind of bullshit you dealing with? See the emphasis? He um, said bullshit. Right. That's why I'm trying to fit that. That got to be strong. So, like, what kind of bullshit you be dealing with? 
Adult bullshit. Adult bullshit. Yeah, health insurance and all that other mm-hmm. yeah. annoying ass shit. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Dealing with insurance as a fucking diabetic. Shit's a st- Bro, I went there the other day. I'm talking about a thousand dollars for my. Well, I usually pay sixty dollars for. It. I said, my guy. I've never paid that in my life, so there's clearly an yeah. issue, you know. Yeah. Like the amount of times that happens is so crazy, bro. Mm. It's like not even funny. Yeah, no, nah, that's wild. Yeah. So we need this. It's not. A, it's not no. You know what I'm saying? He's a right, thousand I'm gonna dollars. pick up an Advil right now. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He said thousand dollars. That'd be wild. I look at him like nah, huh? no bullshit. When the insurance don't, so there's an issue. Yeah. Sometimes they say, oh, it did go through, but you still paying five hundred. What you mean, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? It's not crazy. You didn't shit. do anything there. Yeah. <laughs> get it God. down. Yeah, that's wild. You gotta $60. Get that yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That ass, though. Yeah. Now, I literally Shut just up. this morning had to uh, refill my prescription, too. It's money, bro. I mean, I, I didn't. I got to go pick it up later on yeah. today. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not too much money. Shout out to everyone that got to deal with that bullshit. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we some survivors. <laughs> I feel that, man. Well, speaking of surviving, let's get into these quick hits, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And speaking of quick hits, there's going to be some hits going on. So that you mean, think this mean, guy is going to be uh, that's what, that's what, surviving the night? What, what's happening tonight, Tay? I know I know this is uh, Tay's Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, come, what's happening? Let me tap in real quick. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Kamara Usman versus Leon, number three. Okay. Uh so, little flashback. Leon Edwards, he knocked out Kamaru Usman the last round, last minute of the fight mm. last year. Mm. Um, crazy, one of the biggest, like, you know, like Rocky type story, you know? Okay, okay. Come on, Leon. Y'all seen yeah. that shit? Like, that shit was crazy, yeah. bro. So, this is, like, you know, very anticipated fight, and um, it's today, you know, and um, it's. People want to see how Kamaru comes back from this. Yeah. You know, how you is got. he gonna how is he gonna respond from that? Me personally, bro, oh my god, man. I've been debating this. I'm so 50-50 on it, but something tells me Kamaru, he brought he's he's coming out with that dog and you know, mm. and I know Leon is too. I fuck with Leon Edwards heavy heavy, but I don't know, bro. If I had to put my money, yes. I say Kamaru gets it done. Okay. But I think this is going to be a scrap, and they're both like. I think Leo's going to be at his Leon, excuse me, is going to be at his um, you know, biggest confidence, most confident. Okay. So, and it's in London, in his hometown. Oh, love it. Tune in today. <laughs> but um, what do you guys think? I have no idea. All right, but you still know Kamaru? No, I don't. No, not really. No, I don't know these people. But you, I, you don't I like- know who Kamaru is running. I, no, I know the name maybe, but I don't. He was in don't Wakanda, know bro. Come on. You say he was in Wakanda. Yeah, he was in Wakanda. <laughs> huh? It's like a movie. Really? Yeah, he didn't Doing know that. what. <laughs> People will try to say that. That's well, no, they they were like, oh, was that gonna play a factor the last time they fought? Because he was filming before oh, that. Okay, you know? yeah. Um, I can see it being a factor for sure. You're taking time. You got to go on them sets for twelve hours yeah. and hurry up and wait. They just have you sitting there doing they, nothing, bro. They but the thing until is, until they need you. What the issue is, right? And what they're saying is that Kamaru was dominating him, mm-hmm. you know, for a lot of the rounds, and then got caught with that kick. You feel uh. me? So that's why people are like, "Oh, you know, Kamaru's gonna come in and do the same thing," you know. But you don't know, bro. Mm. I don't know, you man. Put to sleep pretty bad. Him right here. Yeah. So you never seen him? No, I, I don't really watch. Uh, you know, who Kamaru is right. <sighs> I know you got it knocked out. Wow, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, nah, I, I don't really know. Really I know the other guy looks like my boy, uh, Maury, uh, uh, <laughs> my boy Marcel. Who, <laughs> Leon? Looked, Leon? Yeah, Edwards, he man. looked like my boy Marcel. That's the, that's the one thing I saw. I was like, yo, this guy looked like one of my boys. So shout out to you, Marcel. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get knocked out. <laughs> oh, oh, bless man. you. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, if I had to put money on it, which would be stupid for me, but I'll just say uh, I'm gonna give it to my boy uh, Kamaru Usman. I'll, I'll say that just because he's the, I do know the name, but I don't know anything about him. So okay, okay. I'll say that. 
Yeah, tune in, tune in. All right, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. Um, more quick hits, man. Uh, yo, all right. So this is this is. Um, you know what? Actually, before I get there, I want to get this out the way. St. Patrick's Day uh, is just past. It's the St. Patrick's Day weekend, uh, and people are actually switching over to smoke more green than consuming alcohol. Some studies show. I mean, I personally think it's probably about the same. Um, you know, it is what it is. But I just figure I put this out there. You know, like I said, a, a real quick hit. Uh, here's some three strains that you can try for the holiday. Uh, it's called one of them is called Green uh, Green Ribbon. The other one is Emerald OG, and the other one, of course, Lucky Charms. So, hmm. you know, go uh, go try some. Uh, St. Patrick's Day flower, you know, flower some some lucky clovers and get stoned, I guess, you know. <laughs> Just uh wanted to put that out there. Um but now here's what I really want to bring up for this quick hit. The Pentagon, Pentagon officials, they suggest that an alien mothership is in our solar system and maybe sending probes or drones to Earth similar to how NASA has done their missions in the past. Now, I want you guys to understand what I just said. The Pentagon is making this statement. This isn't like, you know, well, us, different. me saying this. This is not just me saying it. This ain't just some blogger down the street, all right? Pentagon. This is the Pentagon. Right. So if they saying that there's a mothership outside of the solar system or within the solar system. I don't understand why this isn't bigger news. Bro, I think... I don't know. Like, we've said a lot. That's, that shit's suspect, bro. There's definitely shit we don't know. So, <laughs> that's scary. This should be, I feel like, probably some of the most important things we're talking about. But no one, no one talks about this stuff. It's never on the news cycle. <clears throat> no one ever is paying attention to this. They're talking about aliens, mothership, a mothership filled with aliens sending drones to Earth. Do y'all understand this? Hey guys, welcome back to a quick commercial break. It's your boy Elijah. Just want to let you know we got some new merch on the website. Superior to the average, yes, a new drop. Go to the website, thepiffcompany.com. You see what I got on. We got the jacket. We got some tech suits on there. So go check us out. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Thepiffcompany.com. Stay superior to the average. I don't understand like why this isn't <clears throat> more pressing news, guys. Uh, I don't know, man. These are government officials talking about... I don't fuck with all that. Aliens. I don't like, fuck with all that. Till I see someone green up in front of me, I, what's up? I'm living my life, man. I don't know them. How do you know? They don't know me, bro. They could be white. Or black. Yeah. yeah. They you might look like what? us. Yeah. And we're fucked. But yeah. if that happens and they come look like us, we're done. <laughs> done deal. What can we do? I mean, so, I'm pretty sure we're done regardless what they We live like. our lives. The guys are able They say to some of these actors space. are They say some of these actors aren't real. They're aliens. <laughs> say the same thing about the Pope. Yo, name one like artist you like, yo, I actually could see you no, being they cloned. say they say uh um Nicholas Cage is a vampire. There's a there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a, a photo of a Yo. guy. It looks just like Nicholas Cage from like eighteen something something. Like it that shit's weird. It it's Nicholas like it's literally Nicholas Cage. Like it's literally <laughs> that is his face. Like it's him. It's there. Same hairline. Same hair. Though. Same everything. It's him. And uh, it, but it was you know two hundred years ago. So crazy i don't know i don't know maybe there's something they're not telling us like what happened with that you know chinese balloon thing they, you know it was it was it really chinese right or was it an alien probe? <laughs> was it an alien mothership uh drone i'm just saying man this, oh, this is something that these I people found aren't it. telling us Look, see? <laughs> he's a he's a he's no, a that's his that's his first grandfather, right? <laughs> nah, bro, that's him. <laughs> that's him. Well, he thought he was slick. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That looked like him. Bro. That's I'm him. It's like him. They have a whole list of actors, yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, if he never what grew that fuck? mustache again, yeah, he's nah, a vampire that's, for that's sure. Him. He would have been safe. 
Look at that shit. They got a list of people, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said the the guy that started Ferrari had like, there's a kid, the guy that plays soccer that looks exactly like the guy that started Ferrari. Really? Yo, this is weird, bro. It keeps going. (laughs) Got John Travolta. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like this shit. (laughs) Y'all bugging me out, gang. Hey, man. I'm telling you, there's some stuff that we don't know. Johnny Depp? That bro, what? <laughs> what? That's Johnny Depp, bro. <laughs> you see that phone? Nah, that one's a little forced. I, I don't know. That one's a little forced. Uh-huh. The other one looked just like him. Head shape, chin, cheeks, everything. All right, bro. I ain't fucking with it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get into another quick hit. Uh, what else we got going on, man? Uh... Okay, there's a lot of things, a lot of headlines about this has been going on in the uh, uh, in the news as well about Silicon Valley Bank collapse. Have you guys heard about that? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that shit. It was on TikTok. I've seen it on a couple different platforms. But tell us more, bro. Tell us more, bro. bro. Yeah, man. I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, the bank closed. This is one of the you know biggest uh, bank closures. In, in history, uh, it's actually one of the sixteenth. It's the sixteenth largest bank in the st- in the United States. Okay. And um, so Silicon Valley Bank, they're you know based in California. They right. have a large populace of uh, people who uh, bank there are like startups okay. and other small businesses. And so like what happened was the bank itself was over leveraged. They had a lot of bonds. They weren't making a lot of money on uh, these bonds, and they didn't have a lot of cash on hand. Right. And when the, you know, customers saw that the bank was losing money, they started getting afraid and basically took their, was, you know, wanted to take their money out. The issue with that is, is that you're only insured federally by the FDIC for $250,000, right? right? right, right. Um, And a lot of these companies, a lot of these customers had deposits that are well over that, you know, well over $250,000. So when they start pulling out their money, Again, the bank doesn't have the cash to give them the money or at, obviously not like physical cash, but they just don't have definitely not physical cash and yeah. definitely not liquid cash to say, OK, we're going to give you your money back right. and put it somewhere else. Right. Um, so when you start having a bunch of people doing that, it causes the bank run and people start, uh, you know, having fear of that the bank is going to close. And they did. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. Um, they started you know, trying to go to other banks and stuff like that to pull their money out, put their money into, um, because again, you're only insured up to $250,000. So, you know, a lot of people weren't able to get their money and a lot of people are sick, but they are planning on, you know, getting everyone their money back uh, through like fees that the banks pay and other things like that. Um, There was other talks of like, uh, increasing taxes in order for people like you know citizens to have to pay uh, in order to pay the bank um, to get the money out or potentially even a, a government bailout but uh, I don't think any of that's going to happen uh, anytime soon and truly like uh, the ramifications of this aren't going to be too big in my opinion I think it's just more so right now you know, people are scared. You know, it sounds like 2009 all over again, but yeah. it's really, it's really just this one, one place here because they just had bad management in terms of like how they're managing their cash, what they're doing, and then in turn, and also losing a lot of their cash to not be yeah. able to have it to give to their people in case of something like this were to happen. And but, like you uh, said, it was, it was towards the small businesses, so it's like a domino effect. Um, since they see it, you know, they're like, oh, they're pulling out their money. Obviously, we're going to be like, damn, what about our shit in there? You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just been a domino effect. Um, it yeah, goes there to was show, one bro. in New York that closed, too, right? Yeah, so like a week before that, a week before this happened, uh, uh, Bank of New York, they closed as well for a similar reason. Um, I actually don't know too much about that situation, but it was a pretty pretty much similar similar reason in terms of just pulling out their money. The bank didn't have enough money for you know their customers, and so that's what happens you know it goes under you don't have any money there's nothing that's what a bank is a bank is money they lend money they and they and they they lend money out and they save deposits if you don't have any deposits you don't really have a bank so yeah uh i saw some other videos saying that um 
Amer um the United States is is doing like a meeting to see if we should le- raise our our debt level or something or yeah debt the ceiling. debt cap yeah because uh, we uh, we ran out of money that we can borrow, borrow from the treasury so they're gonna either make it higher which is gonna hurt us or they're gonna no if they make it higher it'll help because um, that way we could pay out social security benefits yeah. other benefits and stuff like that um you know that people you know obviously uh, as low as like to, you know getting roads and stuff like that fixed but like it's more so about like social security t- is like a third of the entire u.s budget obviously the military and then there's other other subsidy programs out there that you know rely on taxes and stuff like that so the fact that we're already pretty much at the cap means that we the government can't borrow more money in order to pay out these things now um if they do it'll help out if they don't then we run into an issue uh we run into a very big issue and that number is already really high 24 trillion or something we're never gonna pay that shit back yeah Yeah. (laughs) so yeah um it's a small country right there what's a small country 24 trillion that's not a small country that's united states of america bro really (laughs) he said that's a I th- no, we spend a lot more money. than that, no? <laughs> that ain't a small country. That's the debt of the United States of America. Like trillion? Yeah, yes, yes. Twenty four trillion. There's there's way there's countries with GDPs of way less than a billion. Like or not a billion. Way less than a trillion. Like way, 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 way okay. less. So there's islands, smaller countries with way less uh GDP than, than that. So the fact that we obviously we're a superpower, we're it's America, so 24 trillion is is a crazy debt amount but it's one of the highest debts in the world so uh, it's not the highest uh, it could hmm. be I, it could be it, it very much was so could be I, I i don't really i haven't paid that close attention but it i don't know how these guys pretty much sleep could at be night. Like, damn i owe myself 24 trillion dollars <laughs> <laughs> they, they know it's ain't it's not getting paid oh yeah so they're just like fuck it there's crazy things like this like so so just on so just on the interest payments on that on a year they have to pay it's about like 80 80 billion dollars uh up on interest payments right and the drop in the book we just literally sent 80 trillion 80 billion dollars to ukraine right so for you know the war and stuff like that but we know that we can't make these payments for our own debt. Also, ten billion dollars would like eradicate homelessness and and food insecurity in America. Mm-hmm. So it's like we have all this money. We can send it out to places, but it's what is the priority? What what is what 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 is America pr- uh, prioritizing? And it's clearly not the inner cities of America, because. Uh, you know, like I said, 80, 80 billion just left this past year alone to you to Ukraine. So yeah. just saying. And I, obviously it makes sense that, you know, we got to keep our allies safe. But at the same time, we got to take care of America, too. Right. So, you know, it's a system. It's it's really weird. It's a really wonky one. So yeah. hopefully uh, I don't know. Hopefully things just. I don't know. People just start making smarter decisions overall. That's pretty much the moral of that story. Just make smarter decisions. What's up, man? It's a lot. It's a lot involved with that. So, yeah, man. Uh, Those are our quick hits. Uh, That's our quick hits. So let's get into the main topic of the day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Main topic of the day, man. And now I want to uh, to to do this as a kind of like a you know a service like a, a give a service to the people you know what i'm saying give them something that they can actually hold on to some real good information on and the, and and uh like some myths you know like you and know and debunk some let's, myths let's debunk absolutely. some stuff let's, talk, let's give some facts like we do here at the piff company absolutely you feel me? and as always check the lifestyle page um all the articles everything we talk about is there the links yep. um check the car facts we got it we got you we got you covered so what are we going to be talking about today is a thc detox all right we're going to talk about the myths like you said that people yeah. talk about we're going to debunk them and i'm going to give you the facts and at the end i have a special special secret 
not so secret, tips <laughs> on how <laughs> to pass any urine drug test. It's proven by experience. I've done it. You got my the sauce? friends, my friends <laughs> that come to me to ask me what's the recipe. I've done it myself. They've done it. It's worked for them. It's worked for me. And it's backed by science. Okay. So uh, stay tuned. Sauce, I got you with the secrets. All right. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Tay. Just want to come on here, you know, take you guys to a quick commercial break and let you know. New drop. Yes, new drop. You know how we do, man. STTA, we got the, you know, I'm rocking the jacket right now. You know what I'm saying? We got the tech suit on the site. So go check us out, thepiffcompany.com. Till next time peace so let's get into this detox guys so obviously you know like uh pretty much the best detox is abstaining from yeah. from smoking okay like that's we're just gonna I'm just give it to you plain the best way to get the weed out your system stop smoking weed <laughs> like, right, right, right okay end of episode no, traditional, traditional. Uh, <laughs> you know i mean that that's that's i the, think it was it take like a month right to get out your, so yeah it stays like, in your system for 30 days but it also depends on how much you're smoking right if you're a daily smoker like josh and you smoke every day all day every day 30 days is not going to be enough for you you're going to need more like six, six to eight years weeks. Huh? six years huh you're gonna need like six years well, no. If you stop, you'll need about six to eight weeks. I'm like Smokey from. I mean, he might need six years. From, who knows? Um, but what was that movie? Uh, scary so Movie Two or Scary Movie One? Smokey. Smokey from Scary Movie One. What? Yeah, her brother his name gets ain't shot. Smokey. Yeah. And his Friday. name Smokey. Friday. Yep. No, it's, right. His name ain't Smokey. Right. That's Spanky. Right. Spanky. Spanky. Yeah. That's, yeah. It was close. I mean, his lungs had smoke coming out of it. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah, that nah, for real, for real. Wait, so what about him? We'll be able to roll him up is what he's saying to smoke oh. him. Um, anyways, no, what? what? <laughs> Turn into a weed. Right. Yeah. No. So much in my body that it would take too long to detox. I mean, shoot. But that's <laughs> the thing. Don't. Exactly. Like, if you're... I've, 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 clear point in, proof, uh, point in case. Like, someone like Josh definitely will take you longer than someone like, you know, who's maybe Occasional. smokes once a week or something Type like shit. that. An yeah. occasional smoker. Um, but usually, yes, once you inhale a uh, joint, you smoke a joint, it'll usually t stay in your system for about 30 days. Okay. Um, and basically, you know, after that, it should be going away, but it could take about six to eight weeks. So the first one is going to be, uh, like I said, abstaining, right? Yeah. And for heavy smokers, they actually show that uh, there are some symptoms, like if you, if you stop, uh, stop smoking like you they call them with they're calling them withdrawal symptoms i mean technically we doesn't give you withdrawal symptoms but they're kind of similar to them yeah. uh, where you have like irritability headaches some depression some anxiety uh decreased appetite and insomnia so I, I was just yeah. about to No, I think it's facts, bro. Honestly, to be real, like like you said, we're supporters of, of the plant, but mm -hmm. it's just facts. Like mm -hmm. if you stop if you're someone that smokes often and yes. you stop. Honestly, if you do so anything and often anything. And you stop, you're gonna have some type of a reaction uh, whether it's like a withdrawal type of syndrome, you know? Um mm -hmm. but me personally what I've seen is um I definitely you know, in the times that I've taken a break, one thing, my appetite is definitely something that, like, um, I see a difference in, you know? Yeah. Like, me personally, like I've said before in the past, weed always, I'm always hungry after I smoke. Can yeah. You feel me? Like, it always affects my appetite. So, mm -hmm. when I'm not smoking, I feel like I, like I still can eat, don't get me wrong, but it's not like, it's not like that, um, I feel like I get full quicker and, like, especially at night, like, I'll eat something I probably not even you know, like I'll finish it, but it's just it's just a different. Like when I smoke, I'm like dog and food. You feel me? What I'm saying. Yeah. Like if not, it's just like okay, I'll just have like a portion. I'll be full pretty quick. Yeah. Like, nah, definitely. Uh, so I guess that's in a sense too, that's also a myth we're debunking yeah. that there are no withdrawal symptoms. Nah. There kind of are. Yeah. Um, and I'll give you another story too. Like so, my dad, he's a heavy smoker, right? Yeah. And he well, was a heavy smoker, and um he stopped smoking for a while and like my mom and my and him they were saying like yeah he was going through like withdrawal like symptoms like 
shakes, cold sweats and stuff. Like that's he was going I mean. through it. Like they were saying, he, I was like, ain't nah, no nah, way. Nah, there's nah, no, nah. there's <laughs> no way he was going through withdrawal <laughs> system, like symptoms. Like, but nah, the, but the fact the that they thing. like were pressing it on me, yeah, I was like, shit. Well, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe he that was. was but I think it's also the nicotine. I think because you know he smokes like uh, blunts. He he was he usually smoked like uh, like tobacco and stuff like that yeah. too. He's a heavy tobacco smoker, so I think it's more so the, yeah. the 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 nicotine that does it to you. Because if you stop that, you'll definitely have a lot of uh, withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. If you stop, um, you know, smoking cigarettes, you know, those will give you crazy withdrawal symptoms. So I think it might be that m- contributing to it more than the the weed, but. You know, there are some uh, some uh, uh, truths behind that. For sure. Okay, so here are some other um, ways to pass a drug test and detox uh, naturally. These are a couple of things that they say definitely will help. Like I said, pretty much, uh, you know, time is the best way. You know, just stop six to eight weeks. You should be good. Um but so that's number one abstain from thc right stop smoking just stop they say number two to do a lot of exercising um burning lots of fat because thc is stored in fat cells Mm. um being that you you know burn them off you'll be able to get them out of your body you release those uh terpenes and chemicals out of your bloodstream a lot faster uh, when you're exercising um Another one is obviously drinking water. So flushing your system, um, getting rid of all the toxins out of your body, uh, just putting something nice and clean and fresh in your body. Again, not drinking juice or soda and stuff like that because, again, you're putting more fat sugars, which turns into fat, and the fat stores more THC. Interesting. So you're storing more THC, the more fat, the more THC you're storing in your body, the longer it's going to take to come out so drink water uh stay hydrated yeah it'll help you know Healthy, release that eat good stuff another man. thing too when you're drinking water and exercising the reason why a lot of bodybuilders and stuff like that they you know you see them with the big gallon of water is the more water you drink the more water in your blood cells the faster you're able to burn fat so similar thing there uh hit the steam room too hit the steam room tell me i you know I'll be hitting the steam room, I say, like, at least four times a week. Yeah. Um, that shit. I, I feel a difference with that. You that know? Releasing toxins. Um, yeah. From just, like, detoxing the body, but also just, like, my breathing, too. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get a little wheezy when, when I um, smoke a lot. Mm-hmm. That's something I don't like, of course. So, But that I've, I've seen a... I've seen a help with that, you know, because mm-hmm. I, I even get wheezy when it comes to, like, allergies and shit. So it's like a mix of that. Mm. Um but yeah, man, recommend the steam room for <laughs> nah, people. Nah, for sure, out definitely. There. Like I said, it definitely is you know getting mm. stuff out your pores and out your system. So that's a good one. Uh, another one: practice a healthy diet. Uh, so avoid foods high in sodium, high in sugar. Again, uh, fat is going to store more THC in your body. So practice a healthy diet. Eat more fruits. Eat more vegetables. Right. right. Um, Things like that. Stay away from junk food, you know, munchy food. And obviously, if you're smoking less, you're going to get less munchies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And another one is to drink more teas. So mm. opt in for teas that are high levels in antioxidants, right? Um, or liver cleansing teas, you know, such as dandelion or milk thistle. So what? these. I've never seen that. Yeah, uh, so I drink meat, mint tea a lot. That's okay. my shit. Mint tea. Yeah, Lipton. Yeah, uh, Lipton. <laughs> you know, that's some regular degular shit. You know, I put a little milk in the Lipton. That mm-hmm. shit's fire. Mm-hmm. But um, really, mint tea I drink majority. Mm-hmm. That shit's fire. In yeah. Jamaican Jamaican culture, it's like tea is just it's like uh everything. Everything salty. Mm-hmm. Like you drink tea regularly, and then say you got a stomach ache, your mother gonna tell you go drink some tea. Your back hurt, go drink some tea. That's a fact. Your chest hurt, go drink some tea. <laughs> they be capping sometimes, but I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, tea. <laughs> I don't know. Certain, it definitely... certain things, it's like, I don't think tea helps with the back. Maybe my chest, though, you know? Yeah. Uh, nah, yeah, for man. sure, man. Shout out to my tea drinkers out there. What y'all, what y'all fucking with, man? Tea or coffee? 
Definitely tea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I had to choose tea. Definitely a tea drinker. I like coffee, though. But. I actually got my own tea right here. Um, so It's like iced tea, though. Mm-hmm. It's still warm? No, it's not. Okay, yes, yeah. it's cold. It's cold tea, yeah. yeah, but it's not iced tea-like. You, you know. didn't originally wasn't iced. Iced tea is fire, too, though. Top three, top three. Don't Man. sleep. <laughs> it's uh, I actually, it's uh, so actually, uh, my girl made it. It's uh, we boiled uh, it's mm. pineapple skin, um, ginger, turmeric, mm. and um, agave. It's banging. All right, so drink teas. This is how crazy. Detox yourself, guys. Okay, now <laughs> here are some of the myths. All right, here are some of the myths that uh, people always talked about, and I know you've heard these. I know you guys have heard this because it just is what it is. They say drinking cranberry juice will help mask your THC levels or get help you detox. Now, yes, cranberry juice may help with like your liver and flush out your kidneys and flush out the toxins and stuff like that. Um, And there are antioxidants in cranberry juice, but it will not cleanse the body of THC. It just will not. Can it help? Maybe. But it's not really going to do the trick that you think it's going to do. So I know that's like a big I definitely heard that from when I like one of the first things I would hear. Like, yo. And I heard that it will calm you down. Like if you're like too high, drink some cranberry juice. I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. You know, call take cranberry juice and then a shower. That was dead ass what somebody said to me one time. I think I tried that shit too. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a shower always helps though, personally. With getting you not high. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like not, calming down, like yeah. go take a shower, you mm-hmm. that shit relax you. Definitely. But it's still in you. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> You're still high, but it's just more of kind of like a It just yeah. douses you down. Literally. Yeah. I feel that. I actually like the feeling afterwards. You're just kinda just like relax, you know. Mm-hmm. What I mean? Y'all ever, y'all ever smoked the L while being in like the tub? No, I smoked the shower in the shower. Yes, yeah. I I smoked in the shower. No, I'm talking about laid back. Like, also. Nah, I'd be in. I, Don't even the tub. Not in a tub, <laughs> but in the in the actual shower. Not in a, not in a not in a bath or anything nah. like that. That's well, true. I mean, That's a jacuzzi does that count? Yeah, why not? So okay, that shit's fine too. Yeah. Jacuzzi. Been in college, like we had this place. There's this, I can't uh, I can't think of what the, the the complex was called, but they had like this big ass. It was a pool size jacuzzi, hot tub. Yeah, huge, right? Could fit like twenty, thirty people in there, right? A jacuzzi that big? That's a pool. That's what I said. It was a pool <laughs> size. <hot> ass pool. <laughs> pool size hot That's tub. A hot ass pool. And um, <laughs> yeah, and we would like have all pe- mad people would come in there. We have our I roll up mad joints. We drink our beer and stuff. It was mm. good times, man. Good times. Shout out to my people out at UB. Um, okay, another myth. Uh, vinegar. What? Yes. Yeah. You never heard this? Have you guys no. heard of this? Drink a little bit of vinegar. I've definitely heard this one. It helps with digestion. I've heard that. But. Yeah. So they say that um, you know a lot of there are health benefits. You know, uh, prebiotics. Um, like you said, it helps with digestion, but it's not going to help you cleanse THC. It's not. It's just not. So don't do it. Another one is niacin. Um, not specifically sure what niacin is, but there's no scientific proof that uh, niacin will flush TEC out of your system. So, again, these are all myths, and just stay stay away from that. Mm-hmm. Right. Welcome back to another quick commercial break. I'm your boy Josh. Just letting you guys know we got a new drop out now. Tech suits, jacket, uh, windbreakers, all the good stuff, and some old stuff too. Check us out at thepiffcompany.com. All right, all right, all right. Now, guys, those are the myths. Now, let me give you the truth, okay? If you made it this far to the through the video, congratulations because I'm giving you the super secret, the, the super sauce. the super sauce. This is the this is. I'm telling you right now, like this will change your life if you need a pass a urine test. It's it, like I said, it's worked for me. It's worked for my friends. It's backed by science. There's a video that I'm going to also share with you guys. So go to the lifestyle page. Check it out. It's there. Follow the, ingre- follow the steps. It's very simple. Okay? Right. What's up? Tell us. Tell so us. So here man. is what you're going to need. These are the ingredients. Write it down. Gatorade. 
<laughs> Serto. And I'm putting I'm putting <laughs> pictures of, of the ingredients. Serto. What it is, it's like a Pepsi. It's something you use to make homemade jams, right? So you can yeah. find this at Walmart. You can find this in the baking aisle. Serto. C E R T O. Okay. Yeah. And a bottle of water. So I'm gonna go over that again. Gatorade, Serto, water. That's all you need. What do you do? Here are the instructions, okay? You get your you get your Gatorade, drink a little bit of it, right? So that way you have a little space. Pour the Serto, pour one package, it comes with two. Pour yeah. one package of the Serto into the Gatorade. Okay. Now, it's a little bitter, okay? But it's not yeah. horrible. It, you, you'll be all right. Drink the entire Gatorade. Is it like jelly, jelly sauce? Kind something. of. Not it jelly. Makes... It's... it's it, it's a little bit thicker, yes, yeah, so. but it's it's liquid, but it's a little bit thicker. Okay, okay. Um, so you're pouring that into the into the Gatorade. You have to drink the entire bottle of Gatorade in less than a minute. Like just drink the whole thing, down it. Then drink another. Drink the bottle of water immediately, in less than a minute as well. Drink the whole thing. Mm. You pee two times before your test. Take the urine test, you're all good to go. Yeah? Yes. So do you drink it the same like you this could is drink right it before the day, you go? Bro, you could smoke a you could smoke a joint the day of. Chill, chill. Chill, don't do it. I'm not I'm not suggesting you do this. <laughs> but you chill. could literally smoke a joint the day of. Do what I just told you. Pee twice. Then go take the test. So you drink it that same day. Yes. Okay. So and then you'll be good to go. Does it have to be the same day though? Like, yes. Is that something? No, okay. It has to be right before. You could do it the day before. You could do it the day, but do it the day of. Yes. Yeah. You're doing it the day of. Absolutely. Interesting. Day of. I did it once the day before. The day of. You was good money. <laughs> he said, that was good money, man. So, hey. and that's my pro tip as well. The pro tip would be. Do it once the day before, and then do it again the day of. Just so that way you, you know, cover yourself. All right. But I'm telling so you, you got, it works. You got the sauce. I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes your detox. Yeah. And uh, I hope it works for you guys. Leave down in the comments below if you have any uh, drug tests. Or let me know if you guys Please have heard of this heard before as well. Or if and your own, your own one. Like one yeah. of your own sauces your recipes i don't want to hear nothing <laughs> this won't work all right see if you got some i yeah i heard in um like smoke shops they sell like fake piss and shit that you keep don't warm. do none of that you strap it to your leg don't something. do that my boy did it he passed yeah <laughs> i mean I'm like that shit sounds stressful though low that's key my, that's, you know my what point. Mean? that's my point but he said you just strap it to your leg and then we'll walk up in that bitch and it's like yeah. warm but hope you don't pee on yourself before <laughs> huh <laughs> right you ever heard of that shit josh what Josh, mm -hmm. what uh, he was talking about, the Cerdo? No. No. That, that's different. But I did hear about the fake pee. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, uh, I got you guys covered, all right? So, now that we are done with that, let's get into the smoke break. And uh, you know what we like to do here. So, give us one second. Uh, we'll be right back after these commercial breaks. Welcome back to another commercial break. It's your boy Elijah. Just want to let you know that we got all articles on the lifestyle page. Go stay tuned on thepipcompany.com. You could check us out there whenever you want to stay updated on anything about the cannabis industry. We got you covered. And you know, follow us everywhere on all social platforms at the Piff Company. You know, you got to stay up to date with the boys, man. Stay superior to the average, and we'll see you over there. All right, all right. We live, um, and we're back uh, at the smoke break. We're back here uh, at the Piff Company podcast, checking in live. Um, so if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, just so you know, go follow us on the Piff Company um, on Instagram. We take these uh, smoke breaks live. And so uh, if you guys want to join us, make sure you're rolling up. Roll up some of that good, good. You know what I'm saying? Roll up that potent. Um, and... Uh, you know, let's uh, get this show on the road. And if you guys don't know, make sure you guys have your piff, you know, your some rolling papers, a lighter, an ashtray, uh, some water. 
Tap in, tap in. You know, some friends and some entertainment, the Piff Company podcast. You know what it is. You know what I mean? Everybody in the comments, STTA, if you rocking with us, you feel me? We see you, we see you. And join us on the smoke break. Sachi, what's up, my boy? What's up, I Sachi? See y'all. I see y'all in the cut. Double man. R. Shout out Ignacia. I'm Monty. I see you in the cut, G. So, um, yeah, man. We we sparking up on some purpley, purpley stuff right now. I hope you guys are smoking on something good as well. I hope you guys are getting uh, nice and toasty with us. And if you guys have any questions at all in the comments, let us know uh, what's going on. Shout out to Sachi at work talking about he's smoking one in the whip. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know? So I'm going to get this thing sparked up for you guys, man. <laughs> he said in a minute. Facts. Got to take that smoke break real quick, so. That's a real smoke break right there. <laughs> my man at work said, I'm about to go to literally go take my smoke break. I like that. I like that. That's hard. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I guess I'll start it, start it off. Yeah. So as you guys know. It's the weekly TikTok videos of Josh. Oh, goodness. Ah, shit. <laughs> what we got going on this, this week, man? This is a crazy scenario here. All right, man. I hope it ain't. Shit. This basketball is. Oh. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> God damn. It's not good. So much fuckery in this video. <laughs> now they're running. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> is that the bus Buddy. driver? No, no, the bus driver he ran into the dude, and the, the bus, dude no, is running. The bus driver ran into a jeep that I think was running from the cops, okay. and then there was also a truck running from the cops with the jeep yes. that took a turn and then took another turn, and then they decided to leave the truck. Got it. And started running, and then the cops started chasing the truck, too. The oh, guys that were running. Jesus Christ, man. And that was only halfway through the video. Nah, <laughs> man, that shit, they bugging, man. Hey, uh, stay safe out there. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Stay safe. Uh, watch out for crazy pedestrians uh, driving. All right. yeah, everybody tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Drop a comment, say what's up. If you rocking with us, you feel yeah, me? I appreciate to, uh, everybody coming in real quick. Shout out to Isabella Silva. What, hey, what's up, what's up? Shout out to you. How would you Shout guys out to Mo Slim and Weds. Shout out to you. Killer, what up? All right. GG in the cut. GG in the cut. <laughs> What's good? What's good? So, you know, shout out to my people, man. Let, uh, put, yeah. a, put, a, put, a, uh, put a fire emoji in the, in the comments if you're sparking up right now. Or just put a fire comment in, them, in the... Like. Put a fire in, them, in there just because we got that fire. You feel yeah, me? So, like the live. Send it out, you know? Gang, 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 we gang. We tuned gang. in, baby. Hey, shout out to my boy Galileo. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to Galileo uh, Skate Park as well. You know we stay uh, piffed up over there. You feel me? Yes, so, sir. All the supporters, we appreciate you guys. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, let's see. We're gonna get into some more trippy stuff, man. Because, and again, if you guys have any questions below let us know we're going to answer them and i see all the fire i see all the yeah. fire comments so that lets me know that's y'all sparking up man let's i, I go, appreciate that i appreciate that <laughs> all right i got another question okay um okay that's this is a question for the viewers yeah. all right do you guys think that leon or uh kamaru uzman is going to win today who this should be your question today, man who y'all got who y'all got see for, who y'all got let's winning tonight Y'all got Kamaru or y'all got um, Leon? Who y'all think is going to win? Who y'all think is going to win? I mean, you said you got... Me personally, I know this shit's going to be a bang in the night, but if I had to put my money, it'd probably be Kamaru. Probably be Kamaru, but I think Leon's in his home country. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I yeah. think... Uh, damn, bro, that shit's going to... I'm excited, bro. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. It's one of those fights I don't want to say somebody, but... Like Gigi just said, Leon looking scary too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel me? So, hey man. I don't know. We gonna see what's up, dog. But I, I think uh, if I had to choose somebody, I might have to say Kamaru. Hey, it's tough, man. Hey, I, I, I don't know who, who these people are really for real, for real. But I, I'm going with Kamaru as Gosh. well. I'm going with Kamaru. I got, I got money on Kamaru. That's just how I'm going. I mean, I ain't got no money on nobody, but <laughs> that's just what I'm. <laughs> That's just how I'm rocking 
that's how I'm rocking, man. So uh, we'll see if my predictions are true or not. You'll have to let me know. Because <laughs> more than likely, I'm going to be busy tonight. That shit going to be crazy, bro. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, let's see. Who else? What they saying in the comments? What they saying in the comments? They got some... Um, <laughs> they got some predictions. Let's see. Uh, all right. All right. Double O on the cut. Double O on the cut. Yes, sir. He's on that call. <laughs> he said Colorado, Pat. You got some gas out there, G? What's going on, man? Hey, shout out <laughs> all the way to Colorado. Yes, sir. All the way to Colorado. We got Colorado in the building. Um. Yeah, let us know where you guys are tuning in from, man. Whether it's from, uh, you know, New York, Massachusetts. Colorado apparently. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Yeah. We see Johnny Johnny Boy, he's saying was about to say the same Kamaru, but Leon got that silent silent killer. Mm. I feel that. I feel that. Mm. That's the thing. He's talking a little more though now. You know, he definitely is gonna he came in with that confidence. Like they had the stare off and he was he was telling Kamaru, he said he said, You're fucked tomorrow. Damn. His little, <laughs> it was funny, man. I was like, yo, he wasn't talking last time at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like I said, he's he's coming in with that confidence, G. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's in London. And he knocked him out before. So all right. see Well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. He said, God, oh, goodness gracious. Gas it for saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I got another question for the viewers. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, okay. Um, okay. Do you guys mess with joints, papers, or frontos? Like, what, what, is your, what are your yeah. go-to? What's your go-to? So, you like to roll this just the straight joint? Paper with the Fronto or just Fronto? Tell us what you smoking on, man. Or if you're still in 2016, smoking backwards still and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know, man. <laughs> you, know, you know, we keep it. I'm a joint man. I'm the doobie god over around here. So, you know, I, I stay rolling up joints. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I do. That's all I know. But you, what you want? What's your preferred? Um, uh, I like to keep uh, it one. I don't like to mix it, you know, so either frontal or a joint. I don't mind. He's a GS9 hater. No, no, Mud's GS9 hater. Dirty. <laughs> See, Gigi in the cut, she said GS9, she know the deal. Oh, God. Double O, just papers. Hey, Taylor, uh, so get a joint paper, get some bud, crumple in some, some nah, frontal cap, in Nah, cap, cap. See, why he cap on? I do not crumple no frontal on that. That's, that's what they do out in where well, he's rocking right nah, now, Neo. What he does is worse. <laughs> he gets a, le a paper a joint and then a a leaf of I put a little and then a little strip, bro. A little strip. A little strip. Disgusting. Look at Ron. Ron in the cut. Ron Leslie. He says splits hey, for sure. Shout out, Cuzzo. <laughs> okay, you rock, you're rolling the split. That so you what, so what you be mix what you mix the spliff with like 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 uh at like um like to like cigarette tobacco or like I don't a, know. Spliff, a spliff is a cigarette tobacco and weed. That's a nah, split. Nah, so nah, I'm asking, nah, are nah. you do the fronto with the split, or yeah. you do like no, just a little little I'm asking him. Fronto. I'm asking him. What I know he he's about to say that. Ain't no way he, he do. You said cigarette. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, Killer Definitely. said Graba. She messing with the Graba. Yeah, I, mean, I don't like to sprinkle that shit on. I put a little. Nah, I feel like man. when you sprinkle, it's a, it's very heavy. Like I don't mess with none of that. I'm a straight joint man. That's it. He said E-Sig. E -sig. <laughs> nah. Right, E-Sig. Right. Nah. Nah. Fronto and paper. Nah. For sure. For sure. I, I know how that goes, but forget that. And by, and by the cigarette tobacco, I meant like the loose stuff that you can get at the store. Like actual rolling tobacco, I should call it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all let us know what y'all keep rolling up on. I got another question, another question. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Matter of fact, this is a trippy, a real trippy question, guys. So do dentists go to other dentists uh, when they need to get their teeth worked on, or do they work themselves? <laughs> yeah, double O should be an answer, I swear. He hmm? No, nah, I was saying one of the viewers he knows about. I think his uh, he had some family that worked with it. That's why I was like, "Tell me." All right, shout out the Piff Company. We got uh, That's my boy it? L's. Oh, that's okay, okay. Shout out to my boy L's. You yes, already know what's sir. going on, my man. Mess with you, man. Um, 
Shout out to you, matter of fact. Um, yeah. Well, I would say the same thing like with barbers, bro. When barbers get their, their cut, you know, they go to a different barber. Most of them. Mm, my barber cut his own hair. Yeah? Yeah. Even the barbers tell me that that should be a bitch. Shout out okay. to our boy 55 uh, Houston. Shout out to 55 Houston. I know he, he cut his own hair. So, I don't know. At least when at least when uh when I when he was in Troy he would, you know. So that's what he used to do. Um I know uh Enoch cut his own hair too. He told me he, he don't oh, he doesn't do it. He, anymore? he said he can but he don't like to. He'd right. rather have somebody. Think about it, you cutting hair all the time too, it's like Man, line me up real quick. Let me get <laughs> If my boy's up. nice with it, uh, yo, line me up real quick, bro. Yeah, shout out that's to Bean Bud, shout out to my boy Joey. Shout out to my boy. I know you, man, if you're not rolling up, that's yeah. a problem. That's actually a problem if you're not rolling up. I better see a flame emoji <laughs> coming from you right Drop now. Drop some flames, Letting man. me know that you're rolling up, boy. If you're not rolling up, something is wrong. Something is wrong, all right? For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Shout out to you, man. Let's see. What my man saying? Yeah, 100%. You know what's up, my boy. All right. Um, Yo, I, I got a good question for y'all. What's up? And this is for the viewers too, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could debate about this real quick. What's the best munchie snack? If you were to say one of all time. Mm. Best munchie snack. Mm. Give me give me your top. Now I'm going to ask y'all while they, while they go to. Before, before I get that, my, uh, my cousin said, he said, uh, Ron Leslie, he said, uh, they probably do go to other dentists uh, for second opinions, most likely, and do what they can't. Yeah, because obviously, I mean, okay, it's a trippy question, guys. Yeah. Obviously, a dentist ain't working on their own teeth, but I've seen right, 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 right. Some, you know, a, they yeah, might uh, do some cleaning. They might clean it themselves, you know what I'm saying, with the... Well, they go home and shit. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know. But best munchy food? Yeah, but best munchy snack, though. What you got? Hey, it's your boy Josh just bringing you to a quick commercial break here, reminding you guys check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, WhatsApp, you know, we're everywhere. And check us out at thepiffcompany.com. It's where our lifestyle page, our articles to all the stuff we talk about on our podcast, and our videos too. Check us out. Till next time. My meal, my go to meal, and shout out to my boy Eric, he knows this right now. My go to meal would always be like, Dorito, Cool Ranch Doritos, Honey Bun, <coughs> all right, some type of gummies, maybe like a, if I'm feeling regular, I'll probably get like Swedish Fish, or I'll get like a, if I'm feeling like how I want to feel, I'll get like some type of trolley, something that has like like a, like juice in it, it has like the Oh, the gummies, yeah, yeah, I used to get gummies. And then too. I'll get, you know, obviously I need like a big, uh, the purple brisk. It's a, it's like the blackberry brisk tea. Woo. Yeah. That's like right there. Them dollar she, Arizonas back in the day, bro. Just drink them shits like <laughs> yeah. three of them bitches. Mm -hmm. With that. They saying ice cream. Ice cream for Johnny sure. Johnny boy. Uh, nachos. He said, or some <laughs> za, some pizza. I feel you. I feel you. He said some pizzas. Honestly, true, true. that's actually pretty damn good. I, I mess with the pizza. Yeah, if you're gonna get smacking no bullshit. Yeah, if you're gonna get something, you know, something <sighs> fire. Thing with us. Uh, ice cream is nice too. I did, I ain't gonna lie, ice cream is cool. Yeah. I you know I like uh, the Ben and Jerry's. Um, the Ben and Jerry's. Uh, oh my god, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my god. I used to get the chocolate ass. Um, the ones with the brownie in it. I forget the name of it, but it had the brownie and chocolate chips. That shit was um, fire. The uh, oh my god, uh, baked half baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I the think half it's baked? half baked. Pretty sure. Yeah, let me get that lighter because that one has the a whole brownie in it, right oh in the middle of it. That thing is crazy. And it got the um, cookie cookie dough in there too. Yeah, talk <laughs> that talk. <laughs> 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 yeah, we do. Yeah, man. You know what's up. You know I know the vibes. <laughs> um, all right. Um, let's go into another question, man. We'll get into this last one. Okay, last question. Last trippy question, man. Uh, what are we gonna do when the aliens come? Because if <laughs> if I'm telling y'all right now, like I just told you, the yeah. Pentagon has released a statement saying that there is a mothership in the solar system that may be releasing drones oh, on to earth 
similar how NASA has done their own <laughs> missions. What are we going to do when the aliens come, Josh? Shit, I'm going to live my life. How much I can do. Fuck. Bro. You want me to... What can we you do? You want to just go to? The, you just want to go down to the store and just chill? I still gotta work on Monday. Yeah, yeah. All right. so, you out your mind. Unless they start attacking us, then it's a different question. But right, it gee. does depend on what they come down doing. If they just zoom flying around, I can't do shit. What the fuck? We still stuck on five. I'm not going to work. That's, there's no going to work. You, every if aliens come, the world shuts down, bro. The whole world, as soon as an alien mothership or anything comes to Earth, <laughs> the world shuts down. Yeah. There's no Just, going uh, to work. No, no There's no going to the store. There's no hopping. <laughs> I, I'm staying in home. I'm gonna right. have to. I'm gonna have to like. Here's what I'm gonna do because people say they want to go out, go get their materials. I'm not prepped already. So since I'm not prepped for it right now, I gotta stay home with what I got. And then once the chaos outside, you know, subdues, then I'm gonna go get my 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 uh uh materials like weapons and armor here's the thing bro food you also got to think about what toilet the majority, paper what the majority is gonna think you feel me everybody's gonna go rush to the bro That's you why see I said i'm staying home for the first so what are you gonna do they're gonna be out they're gonna be out it's bro still gonna, they ain't gonna I got, restock I got, shit i got stuff at my house already i got stuff here i'm not prep prep but i got nah, stuff already see you're playing and then out. from there <laughs> I'll have to go out. No, I'm, I'm telling you, we get a bad storm, bro. People you don't see how people that's, rush. that's only if they attack us too. They could nah, just be bro. flying around, zoom, observing us. Nah, and bro. Shit. Shout out to my unk, man. Shout out my to my bills are still oh, gonna better come be in. sparking up too. My bills are still gonna Put a come flame in. Emoji if you sparking like, hey, up. I don't give a fuck about the aliens. You owe me this. I'm like, fuck you, bills. Yeah. Feel me? Nah, man. Still got to work? Buddy? You bugging out. No, you don't. That's, you th you think over. they're just going to stop your bills just because there's a little spaceship in the sky? No. No. Come on. Bro, the world is going to stop, man. Uh, yeah. For like two you seconds. Nah, you might, like, you might be right. You might be right. In a week, in a, it's going to stop for a week. And then they, since they're just chilling, they're going to be like, all right, well. Back to base shit. Yeah. 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 Johnny, Johnny said... uh Man, if they're smart, they'd be studying us, and the world come down speaking our language. They would come down speaking. Yeah, I mean, they're probably already. They're definitely already yeah. walking among they're us. They're way smarter than us. If they They've been. They, find they, a whole they have the planet. hand in the in the government already. <laughs> been for already years. Here. For hundreds of years, maybe. Name one actor that looks like oh that he God. could be an actor. <laughs> That'd be a fucking alien. <laughs> I mean, you just said Nicolas Cage was That's the why I'm saying You said the question so We didn't talk about it Hey, That's we didn't, we didn't talk about it with the people, man He's crazy, man You know, you guys are gonna have to come back and see the full episode You know That's what I'm saying? Fact. When it drops Monday But uh, E was talking about how there was a picture of Nicolas Cage out there And it's uh, like he's in like 1800s You know what I'm saying? Yeah and It's literally like the same he Same looks, face Same face Same everything. him It's him, it's him, it's him There's he's, a whole list of actors and shit They got like Doppelgangers or whatever, or it's them. <laughs> yeah, everyone gonna stop and Johnny Boy says everyone's gonna stop and stare like deer in headlights. That's a fact. That's a fact. William Defoe. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's William well, Defoe? I guess he's saying that's an actor or someone who could be an alien. That's an actor. Yeah. I Who's guess that? I gotta search. Yeah, look him up. Look him up. Look him up. For sure. Come on, Spider Man. What? You, I'm, bro. I'm stoned right now. I'm, I, you gotta talk and. <laughs> You gotta help me out here. <laughs> Damn the folk. You gotta help me out, bro. Oh man. Um, oh yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Look at one of the first pictures that came up too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Green That's Goblin. <laughs> He's definitely <laughs> the Green Goblin for sure. He's definitely How's it going, an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. That's hilarious. Oh, oh man. man. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'll be honest with you. That's our smoke break. Uh, and so we're going to end this on a high note, guys, because we're pretty high and we're pretty stoned. Shout out to everyone in the comments going crazy, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, going going wild. I know you guys have been stoned up as well, getting stoned with us. Um, you know, put some put them fire emojis down there again. Let us know. And um, again, if you guys are on YouTube, go follow us on the Piff Company. Uh, go follow us on Instagram 
at the Piff Company. For sure. And you know, that way everywhere. you guys can at go. The Piff Company. You can follow us everywhere at the Piff Company. Say it again. Yeah. That's a fact. Everywhere, baby. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? At the Piff Company. Shit. Um and as you know, like I said, stay tuned. Mm. You know, stay tuned. We got some big things coming Monday. Mm. You feel me? You see the jacket, you know? Drop. Come coming. on now. New drop. STTA. The big drop. Monday's promotion starts. So yo, stay tuned. You know, we got something special for y'all. You yes, know what I mean? Absolutely. So man. And as always, guys, well, the Piff Company everywhere. Stay tuned. Peace. And shout out to you guys on live, man. That's yeah, for fun. sure, for sure. Definitely, you know how we do, man. Mm -hmm. This is definitely fun, man. Smoking on big gas. They can keep talking, I'ma keep popping. Rocking this pimp, not on Robin. Now they loving the way that I'm saucing. We're superior to average, no top 10. We gon' come in and change up the topic. We playing chess, I don't check us. We moving strategic, we not moving.